The Azimuth Saga has been running for over 18 months now in Elite Dangerous. The sweeping saga telling the story of the mysterious figure who would be the galaxy's self appointed messiah against the Thargoid threat is slowly reaching its conclusion. But this week when an important plot point emerged players started to take the narrative out of Frontiers hands and attempt to steer it themselves. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. There was a major, perhaps not entirely unexpected plot twist in Elite Dangerous this week when the mysterious man who would be Messiah, Salvation, announced that Taurus Mining Ventures with whom he'd been publicly collaborating for some time is in fact a cover operation for a still very active evil megacore Azimuth Biochemicals. When the news broke in game all of Taurus Mining Ventures assets including settlements, starports and multiple megaships became the property of the newly appeared now rebranded faction Azimuth Biotech. Up until this point in the story Salvation and indeed Azimuth had been a brooding somewhat self absorbed no doubt malignant very vocal presence in the story but despite all that both Azimuth and Salvation were also a non corporeal presence. There was never a hard target on the range that had Salvation scrawled on the side of it that could act as a focal point for supporters or indeed detractors of whatever it is Salvation thinks he can achieve. With the appearance of Azimuth Biotech in the game all that changed however and at exactly the same moment that happened a player initiative was born that immediately set about taking some degree of agency on what remains of the Azimuth Saga narrative. Before Galnet officially broke the story Taurus Mining Ventures assets had started changing over to show Azimuth Biotech and as soon as it became apparent what was happening players started taking action against the newly revealed Megacore. Players including the Twitch streamer Commander Selene Stardragon. After a conversation between Selene and fellow Twitch streamer Commander Psykit happened on Monday the two formed a new entirely player driven initiative to use in game tools against the newly revealed Azimuth Biotech and by association Salvation and thus was born Operation Witch Hunt. As of this recording Azimuth is present in 5 systems in total Titori, Karato, Marope, Maya and Mabuni. The plan is to use the background simulation or BGS in the game to affect negative changes on the presence and influence of Azimuth Biotech and quite literally cause them to retreat from the systems and assets where they have a presence driving them all the way back to their home system of Titori. Whilst it would be a wild eventuality both Selene and Psykit are under no illusions their actions will sway the course that Salvation appears fixed on or cause Frontier to change the story in any serious regard that they clearly have mapped out. But if they can make a dent in Azimuth's armour somewhere or force some kind of noticeable change in Azimuth's influence and presence then it's possible it could be acknowledged in Galnet at the very least and that in and of itself would be very cool and become part of elite lore. The background simulation is the only way that players can really affect any kind of significant change on the Elite Dangerous Galaxy and it's used daily by numerous player factions across the galaxy to change the course of various factions player and otherwise for the better or indeed for the worse. This is the second time that I'm aware of at least that a large player initiative has attempted to enact some kind of significant change on the Elite Dangerous Galaxy via that tool. The last time was the Turning the Wheel initiative that attempted to uncover clues to the existence of Raxler via expansion of the Dark Wheel faction. Whilst that initiative was well supported and successful in its goal of expanding the factions influence ultimately no truths regarding Raxler were uncovered as a result. Whilst the witch hunt initiative has no illusions or expectations about what they might achieve I'm personally hopeful that if it achieves something like even a small retreat then that achievement can be acknowledged in game in some form. 
Also again if successful in some regard it sends the message yet again that the player base are willing and indeed eager to drive the narrative and the direction of the game themselves if you give them the tools, a cause and a target. For any future narrative content I hope Frontier hear that message and are able to act on it in some appropriate fashion. That would be one hell of a USP for an already very unique game. Operation Witch Hunt is centered on a dedicated Discord server and is posting standing orders as and when needed to drive their goals as well as giving regular progress updates. To get involved yourself and join other commanders in trying to achieve those goals you'll find everything you need in the description below this video. Will you be joining Celine and Psykit in participating in Operation Witch Hunt? Do you think attacking Salvation and Azimuth Biotech is unwarranted? What do you think Frontier will do if the witch hunt is successful? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.